know there are some really beautiful old buildings in America's Georgia. Isn't it ironic that the First Baptist Church is located directly across the street from the First United Methodist Church? <laughs> the Sumter County Courthouse has a section of the yard that is dedicated to the Civil Rights era, complete with the door to the jail cell that once held Martin Luther King Jr. In addition to that, there are monuments dedicated to those who served in all the wars the U.S. has participated in since the Spanish-American War. I read somewhere that this replica of the Liberty Bell sits on pink marble. And that's also what lines the walkway to the flagpole. Cool marble. In Granny's Kitchen in Americas, in addition to the normal good home, down home food, they also have something that few other restaurants prepare anymore. Lace bread, very thin cornbread, fried quickly in a skillet. Incredible. On the edge of, uh, northern edge really, of America uh, sits the Jimmy Carter Regional Airport, formerly called Souther Field. It was from this airport that Charles Lindbergh first learned to fly in an airplane. He uh, got, bought a Jenny and took off, uh, learned how to fly before he took off over the North Atlantic to become the first man to fly solo over the Atlantic. Former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind were both born and raised in tiny little Plains, Georgia. This right here is uh, Jimmy Carter's boyhood home. It's outside of town on the west side. The town itself hasn't changed much in size since their births, but due to its most famous son, Plains has undergone a lot of chaos and transition over the last 90 years. For example, due to Carter's status as the former president of the USA, Secret Service agents live and thrive in this tiny little town now.
uh, but the big white house at the edge of town is surrounded by an electric electrified fence. You think that might be his home? 